Hi guys, so whoa, it looks kind of weird because my face looks stretched back like I had plastic surgery, but no, really. Um, but I'm so excited. I haven't talked to you guys in what feels like two or three weeks, maybe a month, but um, I'm so glad to be right in front of the camera again. Um, I have a day off this week or two, so I will definitely be feeling, filming more videos for you. But today is just going to be a shoe haul. I have accumulated six shoes, six pairs of shoes um, over that time span duration. And um, I just definitely needed to show you because that is what my life is all about right now since I'm constantly being surrounded by them every day. So anyways, enough mumbling, I mean rambling. I'm going to get into the first one and it's by Sam Edelman. It's actually by Sam Edelman Boutique, and I've never um, actually had SE Boutique before. This is the box right here, very chic looking, and just plain black, and it has the signature right there in the bottom corner, <laughs> this corner right there. It just says Sam SE Boutique. So these are just a boring pair of flats. They're actually nude nude flats, and they're called Beta right there. Um, wow, it looks like I have a forehead for miles, but no, I just thought I'd try this slick back hair today, but anyways, back to the shoes, um, the beta flats right here are what they called, and they're patent, and I just thought they were so adorable, and I'm sure you will too, um, this is the true coloring kind of right there, but it's just like a nude patent, and um, I know I kind of am on the last last person on earth to find out about nude shoes, um, nude flats, I already have like a ton of nude heels, but I don't really have any nude flats, and I feel like it did the same job for, you know, elongating your legs this way, and plus, it's a great transition color from spring and summer into fall, because it is that kind of cute little penny loafer style right there, but it's still a very unexpected texture, um, which is the nude, and I just love how you can like it just crinkles and crumples up right like that and just for the inside just um, to look at that it's just like a reptile kind of uh, li lizard print on all around the inside of the sole and it just says the brand signature right there but I think that's so adorable like just the little pop-up print it just adds to um, the luxury and um, how expensive looking the shoe is um, but if you don't know SC Boutique is more of course more expensive than Sam Edelman and I'm being told that it's offered at Saks Fifth or higher end department stores so I don't know if you can find SC Boutique just anywhere but um, it's kind of random I think that they just um, did away with SC Boutique so you probably can't find it um, just just in select stores kind of like Steve Madden Lux so um, but these are really cute and um, of course on sale <laughs> so what's new there but I've worn these a couple times and they're really comfortable um, I've only had a problem with my left Left foot um, in the back, of course. You know when you're breaking in shoes, you'll be more more likely to get blisters in your heel, and that's kind of what I did. So, anyways, nothing like a little band aid can't fix. So, um, other than that, they are super comfortable, and they're a little bit bigger than what I normally wear. But um, I just thought, you know, if you're wearing like thicker tights and socks and um, knee highs in the fall, it's what's new. But um, I don't know. I just haven't had an outfit or an occasion to really wear them to, um, besides work. And um, I've been constantly on my feet a lot and so um, I recently just got like the most like hurtful I want to say it's like a blood blister something on the bottom of my foot it's kind of like karma kicking me in the back for um for wearing shoes that high and stuff but anyways these shoes are by Matisse I've never heard of him but it's super cute um the packaging looks like this it just says Matisse and a cursive signature in the white box kind of reminds me of the Steve Madden um just the shape and the um, simplicity of the box but it's by Matisse and and the style is called Bowie, and you'll see why it's called Bowie in a minute. Um, nicely packaged like this, like so. And I know you're just going to fall in love with these like I did because these, oh my gosh, can you get any cuter than these? Like, ladies, I don't think you can. So I fell in love with them because it has the bow. And I've been looking for um, for shoes that have like a, like a triple row kind of bow or just any kind of cute little feminine bow um, like stick on like this it's not a stick on but this is suede material and um, the height is not that bad actually with the platform it's maybe like two, like three inches so these are super cute and I got a size 7 and a 7 and a half because I wasn't sure for the brand and lately my foot has just been weird and like fitting into more sevens but this one is actually a seven and a half I believe 
whoa that scared me because it said seven on the bottom I was like oh my gosh but no it's a size seven and a half and that lied yeah seven and a half and it's just suede material and this blue just oh my god it just makes me want to like go on a, a sailor boat and just wear these because so blue this looks and I am just in love with all the cute details of it you can't really go wrong um I forget how much it was on like $40 or something like that on sale I don't know but it's super cute there's the inside of the brand right there and I'm pretty sure you could find a lot of um cute outfits for, to wear with these like I was planning on wearing them with like um, charcoal gray, gray tights or really really cute knee highs and a skirt for fall or like um just even if you wanted to incorporate like a bright colored tight um like like last year's trend was for fall just bright tights in general like I think like a bright pink tight with this would totally you know counterbalance the um the pink and the blue so this is super cute and I'm in love with it and I just can't wait to um, wear them to work and my Actually, my coworker got the other size that I returned because she was like, "Oh my gosh, Camille! Every time you get online um, online orders, you need to let me know because I'm gonna get all your shoes." But I love this. I believe it comes in a black and a coral color. Yeah, a coral color would have been really cute as well. But I just thought the blue is more kind of neutral, and I already know I have a blue suede kind of peep toe shoe, but that was from Zara, and this is a wedge, so totally different. But I think the coral shoe would look really, really cute too. But that one. Just just wasn't on sale so I just of course went um, with the one that was on sale so the black one will look cute too but I just don't think that the bows would stand out um, against as much and I show you these but I finally just bit the bullet in the um, the trend and I got croc sandals and I know my best friend in the whole wide world is gonna kill me but I think I told her already but I got these croc sandals they just look really like streamlined and chic I'm trying to put it in the frame of the camera but these actually don't look like crocs at all and that's why I got them because I don't want to be wearing like just ugly little um, crocodile looking turtle shoes on my feet all the time but these are so light and comfortable and I don't think these look like an athletic sandal at all like actually if you wear them like um like this this way it'll look actually just look like really like a normal sandal and you wouldn't even tell it's crocs so I was super excited when DSW offered these of course is where I got them and they're just some normal t-strap uh, sandals like here and I know like I normally don't get t-strap sandals like I told you before a million times because um, the thong in between the two toe and the big toe area right here it's just pinches and like it rubs the wrong way um, like if you wear it for long periods of time and actually when you wear these actually you probably can't even feel them because it's made out of rubber and um, I'm pretty sure that this will just um, make up for that and just be really light and comfortable and here's the bottom of this one right there so I got it in a size 7 and what's the size? it's called sexy flip women I'm not lying to you, like I'm not just saying that my sandals are sexy, but they're indeed called Sexy Flip right there. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, it's in a size 7, and I just am in love with these. I haven't worn these yet either, as you can tell, they're still new in the packaging in the box um, with the tags on, but um, yeah, woo, getting busy. Oh my gosh. But anyways, so yeah, I hope you love these too. And um, if anyone has tried like Crocs or something that doesn't look like a Croc slip on, let me know because um, I'm planning on wearing them to an upcoming Hawaii vacay with my family. I'm so excited. It's in two months exactly. Well, not exactly, but in August. And I'm definitely going to be sporting these around the beach with like cute little caftan tunics and, and after Steve Madden that people just die in love for and just keep getting more and more of but um, some of their styles I just can't help but just love and get it and I know that I have this brand number one brand rule of not to get the same um, brand more than like two or three times but to hell with that and I don't care because these are just so good of a deal to pass up and once I show you these you're just gonna die you're gonna roll on the floor so I got these really, really sexy um, of the moment animal print Sam Edelman's right here. They're just a basic uh, pointy black peep toe. Just do a little slow-mo right there, 360. And the reason I fell in love with it is because not only it's pointy toe and it's very classic style, but because, of course, again, the bow right there. And then it has like a little stud detailing um, around the center of the bow right there. And I've worn these once to work, and they actually didn't even start hurting until, of course, the last 
last hour of work, but I wore these on like, whoo, a six or eight hour shift. So that was amazing. And of course, you all guys are familiar with the inside right there. And the bottom actually had a sticker, it kind of took it off, but it's just, um, it basically said, this is actually made out of real, um, I want to say pony fur or some kind of fur, like a cow fur or something like that. I don't even know. Well, I guess cows have fur. But anyways, so uh, what is this called? This is called um, Oma Black Patent. Oh, it's actually called Real, Real Fur, Real Calf Fur. So it could be in any mixture of any animal, but I hope to God this isn't like a tiger or a cheetah print fur. But yeah, I just didn't have any t um, cheetah print sandals, so I mean cheetah print shoes. So I was like, why not? You know, let's start now. Let's get on this cheetah bus right now with this Sam Edelman shoe, and it's super cute. And um, here's the box right there. Of course, it was on sale in size seven right there. So just to show you up close, black patent all around, and um, I guess I could show you the other shoe too, that would help, but um, you know, nothing spectacular, but here they are together, you know, nothing new right there. I don't know why I didn't show you the other shoe from the, um, the other styles, but anyways, these are super cute, and um, these aren't that even that high, like maybe like three inches or so without a platform like I know you're probably like whoa she didn't get a platform what's new but totally like I do still like the classic styles with like a little bit of a kind of a di like a different vibe twist like this looks super edgy and modern and like totally rock and roll chic if you wanted to wear like all black and like some studs like you totally just go out the door to like a concert with these but yeah these babies are just so cute I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of them like you could definitely like wear them for professional settings too like in the office if you wanted to like spice up like a boring old black pencil skirt or like some nice wide leg trousers and like have these like peek out from underneath this would look super cute and um of course wear with neutral colors or a of color that would work too so love these this next shoe is from Nordstrom and I've worn it once already on like the most rainiest day of the season I don't know why but I like ruined it um but not really so but this from Jeffrey Campbell um right here I'm sure you guys are all familiar with a really cute box and this weird looking sweatshirt pink sweatshirt with a cat on it but that's Jeffrey Campbell <laughs> for you just you know one for the weirdos and I got it in um this style, what was it called? It's called Jehens or Jehens. Jehens. I don't know, I'm just gonna show you right there. Jehens, right there, size seven and a half. And I've never had any Jeffrey Campbell shoes, and I know like they're famed all over the world for his like super grungy, hippie, um, kind of like lace up, really high platforms um, for, I don't know, just I feel like New Yorkers, all they wear is Jeffrey Campbell. Maybe that's just me, but um, no. So I finally um, went, went into the trend like Crocs and I got a Jeffrey Campbell shoe. And the reason I got them is because I fell in love with this one style and I thought it was like totally unexpected of Jeffrey to make this um make this wedge I should say because it's a wedge uh sandal and it's soup it's it's, it's like this. It's a see-through, clear, architectural, very modern and sleek and sexy, to say the least, uh, wedge right there. I just love the heel. I'm in love with anything, of course, modern and um, edgy and cut out, of course. So this will look really great with a night out. Um, that wedge pretty much sold me enough, but I'm not really um, loving just this clear, see-through kind of thing. It makes me kind of wish I wasn't a hooker or stripper because I feel like like I am when I wear this but the wedge just makes up for it and I just I'm in love with it you can just see me through the wedge <laughs> but I got this because it has this really different cuff and I know that cuffs are probably making a comeback not only for like um, bracelets and watches like that kind of cuffs but on shoes as well and I didn't really have any black cuffs so if it stands upright like this you just tie it and it's really simple to just tie the buckle around like that I don't want to take out the other one because these are really actually kind of heavy but these are actually super duper comfortable because I don't know if you could tell but the footbed is really wide um, wide around the circumference and wow it looks like I didn't even wear it it looks super clean. Anyways, no, I wore it once. Um, anyways, getting back to it, um, 
really comfortable. It is made of real leather. Um, and the inside, you could just see more closely. I already wore it because it's kind of wrinkly. But um, it actually just says Jeffrey Campbell, California. So I don't know if it's made in California or New York. Maybe I just want to think it's made out in New York. But anyways, it's probably made in California. But um, every one of the reviewers on Nordstrom.com, and I'm not like a Nordstrom shoeaholic. Well, I am a shoeaholic, but not for Nordstrom because I don't want to be um, unfaithful to my company. But anyways, so they're all saying this is so dropped and sexy. They got so many head turns and compliments and couldn't imagine, you know, not wearing these out, out. but, um, you know, People just can't stop and stare, and they're like, where did you get your shoes? And I'm like, Nordstrom.com, please. But um, definitely Jeffrey Campbell did really did a knockout job with this one. I'm in love with this and how modern and different um, it looks like. You can't really see, like, the cork sticking from the, I should say, what is that material called? I guess it's, like, acetate. Poly, polyurethane? I've noted what I'm saying. Um the synthetic see-through material plexi plexiglass kind of I don't know but anyways yeah you can't really see through the square right there and um, I love that because if or else it would look like I was um, Frankenstein or something but I'm in love with this wedge and I hope you are too I got it in a seven and a half and it fits wonders it was actually the seven and a half and the five and a half are the last ones on the site and I was like oh my gosh I need to get it now because it's never gonna come back and it's so popular obviously because all of the sizes were sold out and um, definitely had to get it so I'm so so glad I did um, I got this actually with another shirt or two which I will show you another film haul but winter and fall if you wanted to um and there are these me too and I know I probably was talking about these forever and ever ago and yes these are really tall and really high because it is a boot box but I was I finally got my me too dream boots um they weren't that's not the style but they're platform boots and I've been eyeing them for the longest time at work and I shouldn't have gotten them so early I guess I was just so anxious that they would run out of my size but um I got them when they were 50% off now they're 70% off now so I'm kind of kicking myself for it but um if you know what I'm talking about they're called the Black Leah Castle right there if you can just show you and I got it in a size 7 and um whoa the things are just falling on over the place but um they're just your simple um go to black boots when you're going out and I think these are look really really sexy and modern and I don't really have um actually I don't really have a black an all black boot well when I did it wasn't um that good of a quality I believe it was like a peep toe but this is actually a round toe you can't really tell and the heel's not that high but it still has that really sexy um platform just a small platform and then of course the zip up is along the side right there and I this I just think this is like a staple in every women's closet for every year I'm gonna put some like boot forms um what do you call it boot holder whatever you call it in the in the calf area right here but um these are by me too and they don't even look like me too and i know me uh everyone is prejudiced against me too because they're more associated with like the comfort um comfort kind of ugly looking style brand but they're actually stepping up their game and i was like whoa go you me too because um i definitely don't want to sacrifice style for com i mean sacrifice style for comfort does that make sense? I don't know, but I definitely want to be stylish and comfortable at the same, same time, and that's my point. But um, if you can just, um, there's nothing really to it. It's just a black boot, and I know it's kind of boring, and you're like, why is she getting that? But, I mean, if you were me, and you got these for like 50, 70% off at your store, and you didn't have any like black, really, really hellishly comfortable black boots for um, going out, going out for dinner, and um, stuff like that in the fall and um, colder winter months then of course you would get this because it's a staple in your wardrobe like you can't just say no like you have to get this so I love this and it does have like some little of attraction on the bottom so you're not like slipping and sliding if you get get a little closer right there but um well that's kind of dirty but yeah these were um I think I only paid like 30 something dollars for these or maybe something for brand new black boots like I can't stress it enough like you need to get basic staple like probably one slouchy motorcycle like boot and then probably one really nice black boot like I think this is going to be my really nice black boot and I do already have like a black 
brownish um, kind of color blocks flat riding boots so I just thought that you know to complete the picture and just to get this um, black um, high heel boot right here so I can't wait to start getting more booties and I'm I really am excited to see what DSW and other shoe companies roll out for the fall because I only have like two or three booties and I know that probably seems like a lot but you know I don't just buy booties to buy booties but I, they really need to be like well made and have a really different style and just really comfortable so I'm kind of picky when it comes to boots that's why I only have like three or five different pairs of boots like I'm not like a boot boot person like I'm sure like a lot of you are um, more of like a he high heeled kind of girl so anyways I hope that was a really good catch up on my shopping life and um, stay tuned for my other shopping stories and accessories um, I got a Chicago haul coming up for you and some makeup I gotta show you so I'm really excited to be back to the world and I'll talk to you guys later and fall if you wanted to um, and there are these me too and I know I probably was talking about these forever and ever ago and yes these are really tall and really high because it is a boot box but I was I finally got my me too dream boots um, they weren't that's not the style but they're platform boots and I've been eyeing them for the longest time at work and I shouldn't have gotten them so early I guess I was just so anxious that they would run out of my size but um, I got them when they were 50% off now they're 70% off now so I'm kind of kicking myself for it but um, if you know what I'm talking about they're called the black Leah castle right there if you can just show you and I got it in a size 7 and um whoa the things are just falling on over the place but um they're just your simple um go to black boots when you're going out and I think these are look really really sexy and modern and I don't really have um actually I don't really have a black an all black boot well when I did it wasn't um that good of a quality I believe it was like a peep toe but this is actually a round toe, you can't really tell. And the heel's not that high, but it still has that really sexy um, platform, just a small platform. And then of course the zip up is along the side right there. And I this, I just think this is like a staple in every women's closet for every year. I'm gonna put some like boot forms, um, what do you call it? Boot holder, whatever you call it in the, in the calf area right here. But um, these are by Me Too and they don't even look like Me Too and I know me, uh, everyone is prejudiced against Me Too because they're more associated with like the comfort, um, comfort kind of ugly looking style brand but they're actually stepping up their game and I was like whoa go you Me Too because um, I definitely don't want to sacrifice style for, com I mean, sacrifice style for comfort. Does that make sense? I don't know, but I definitely want to be stylish and comfortable at the same time. Same time, and that's my point. But um, if you can just, um, there's nothing really to it. It's just a black boot, and I know it's kind of boring. And you're like, why is she getting that? But I mean, if you were me and you got these for like 50, 70 percent off at your store, and you didn't have me like a black, really, really hellishly comfortable black boots for um, going out, going out for dinner, and um, stuff like that in the fall and um, colder winter months then of course you would get this because it's a staple in your wardrobe like you can't just say no like you have to get this so I love this and it does have like some little of attraction on the bottom so you're not like slipping and sliding if you get get a little closer right there but um well that's kind of dirty but yeah these were um I think I only pay like 30 something dollars for these or maybe something for brand new black boots like I can't stress it enough like you need to get basic staple like probably one slouchy motorcycle like boot and then probably one really nice black boot like I think this is going to be my really nice black boot and I do already have like a black brownish um kind of color blocks flat riding boots so I just thought that you know to complete the picture and just to get this um, black um, high heel boot right here so I can't wait to start getting more booties and I'm I really am excited to see what DSW and other shoe companies roll out for the fall because I only have like two or three booties and I know that probably seems like a lot but you know I don't just buy booties to buy booties but I they really need to be like well made and have a really different style and just 
just really comfortable. So I'm kind of picky when it comes to boots. That's why I only have like three or five different pairs of boots. Like I'm not like a boot boot person. Like I'm sure like a lot of you are. Um, more of like a he high heeled kind of girl. So anyways, I hope that was a really good catch up on my shopping life and um, stay tuned for my other shopping stories and accessories. Um, I got a Chicago haul coming up for you and some makeup I gotta show you. So I'm really excited to be back to the world and I'll talk to you guys later.